In this video, let's use some sheet sets and some of the tools in Civil 3D to automate our information that we show on our plan sheets and to help ensure continuity within them. So quick tour is we have three drawings with layouts that have been imported into a sheet set manager. We've already named and numbered these layouts. So wouldn't it be nice if we didn't have to go in and edit our border to cut this title in here and page number and everything in that when we change the sheet set, it just changed in layout. And we can do exactly that and it's really easy. You'll see in this example uh, from the template that I used, it already has a page number and this gray icon on my build indicates a field. We have a field here that automatically pulled the page number field that automatically pulled the title. We have a field that gives the name of the DWG. You can really do just about anything you want, and a lot of them are pre-built in. You just have to tell it where to put them and to put them in the layout yourself. So let's do that real fast. So I'm going to, um, right next to this number four, I'm going to put another field and let and see what happens. So you put a field in, the easiest way is to insert an M text. So I'm just going to put an M text right here. I have no idea if I'm using the right font style. Let's see, or text style. Border text is what I need to be using. So um, see if that's even in here. Yeah, border text. So we're going to do a M text right here, and I'm going to insert a field. Now, there is a section in here called Sheet Set. And in it are a bunch of pre-built fields that you can just insert. So let's go down to Sheet Number. And uh, it shows the example and just hit OK. And there it is on the fly. It just added it. And if I come over here to Sheet Number 4, and I rename and renumber this to 40, hit OK. Nothing will happen, but if I regenerate, it will change. We can do the same thing for the title. We'll come over here and we'll put, better make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to insert a field. And let's go down to the title. And I want it to be all in uppercase. And I hit OK. And there we go. Just on the fly. And once again, it will change them. Now, if I close Grumpy and Sleepy, if I change these in here, when I run the print or when I open it, because it essentially opens each drawing when you run a batch print, it might not physically show it opening, but it's opening it, creating the print, and then closing it. It will update the fields as it opens them each time. Okay. <clears throat> so those are the easy stuff. Let's do full file path. Or actually, let's, before we do that, let's keep working with the stuff that's built into the sheet set. Now, remember in a previous video, we looked at the properties of the sheet set itself. And in it is a bunch of metadata. A particular interest is the number, a name, a phase, milestone, stuff like that. So I can give this a project number of 8675301, if anybody gets that reference. And the name, we, we can put uh, emoji sheets. Okay, and if I hit OK, that is now saved in here. And we can now add fields to pull those two information. Down here, I already have a um, project number. If I regenerate, that put that in there. And right here, I already had the project uh, title. So it's just updating, and it'll update on every one of them. will have the same thing. So if you're going through your project and you decide you want to change the project name that you show on your plan set, you could do it in one spot, and when you run your print or as you open the drawings, it will change it in every one of them without you having to physically open each and every one of them and make those edits.
And this ensures that it's the exact same in everyone. No typos, no all case versus uppercase versus camel case allows that consistency. <clears throat> now, if we come over here and I make a new layout, let me show you, let's do from template. And in this case, we are going to use a title sheet template and 22 by 34 to create this layout here. Okay. Now in this layout, we want to have the project name, the client, and some extra information here. Now I know city state, and this is a funding number. If I come in here to properties, there's not a city state or a funding number or a client name or any of that information in here. If you want to have that, and you want to have it consistently, you will create these edit, uh, edit custom properties. So if I come over here to this one, I double click it. If I select this field and click field, I can see what the setting was set for. So it was set to this current sheet set custom field, in that case called project location. Okay. So let's uh, re reproduce that. So let's come over here to properties. Let's do edit a custom field and let's make a new one. And I'm going to call this one location just so it's something different. And the default value, I will put city slash state. And uh, the owner is in the sheet set, not the sheet itself. And hit OK. And hit OK. And notice that it shows up at the bottom. And down here, I can put. Um, Auburn, Alabama. OK, so this field is called lo location. Now we can do the exact same thing. I am going to uh, so the, the styles the same. I'm just going to copy this over. I'm going to select that field and delete it. I'm going to insert a field. In this case, we will choose sheet sets, sheet set custom, and in my pull down, it should show any of them that are associated with it. And it's not there because I forgot to add the sheet uh, to the, the actual layout to the uh, sheet set. So let me save this real fast. We're going to right click and we're going to import layouts as sheets. Browse to this drawing and I'm in happy. It's going to show the one that I just made that's not in the sheet set. I want to import it. For the sake of what we were doing, it's my title sheet, so I'm going to move it to the top. Okay. And now I should be able to add that field. Double click it and let's uh, delete that field. Custom. There's our location. I'm going to hit OK, and it automatically filled it in. So you can add as many custom fields as or um, properties as you want to your sheet set, and then have those fields so they can be reproduced through your whole plan assembly. Pretty cool, huh? So if we come in here to our project name, uh, well, I already had it in there. So if I REA this, there's a project name. We could put the client, the funding source, and all kinds of things in here. If you have created all of this information, these custom fields and everything for your plans, and you plan on doing it over and over and over again, you can save this sheet set out to a network location or to a location you can get to and use it as that example sheet set that we had when we used the creation wizard th those fields will be in there all you have to do is keep that in mind when you're creating it first time and then um, save it in a location keep all that in mind if you have already created it and you didn't think about that beforehand, you can copy it and paste it 
but you want to remove all of these sheets out of your sheet set for that template one. So as an example, if I was making a new sheet set, I would so say from an example sheet set and hit next, and it's going to ask me where to go get that. So I could browse to it and get to it as well. That's pretty much it for this video. Just wanted to show you using those fields and um, how to bring them in, how to create custom fields. If you like this content, please click the like button. Feel free to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want updates uh, or get pings whenever I post new videos.